Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprenter here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Friday, August 28, 2020. Free pick in a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Click on that link below the video and get set up for a free $60 account, which you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody on the roster at DocSports.com. Football is almost upon us, folks. You know, the NFL is, what, 13 days away. It's going to kick off a week from last night with Thursday Night Football. And I told you the other day, go back to when I, my first football season at DocSports.com, which was 2018. Going back to late September 2018, through last football season, uh, we have gained almost 10 grand for those wagering $100 per unit with our football plays. NFL, we won the OV contest, the OV Invitational in Las Vegas last year. And I have been a top 20 money finisher in the Westgate Super Contest. I'm back in both of those contests again this season. And we just uh, jumped into the Westgate Super Contest a couple of days ago. So looking forward to that. NFL has been my best sport for many years now and college football right there with it. So if you're looking to jump on board in football, uh, you can do so by jumping over to DocSports.com. Go to my Handicappers homepage and you'll see the details and you'll see what you got to do if you want to jump on board. Everything else for Friday? Well, we've got PGA. And yesterday we had two plays that ended up going uh, in the world of sports because of the protest and the teams uh, not playing in a couple of games that we thought might happen in baseball. Uh, we had two plays that went, both were in the PGA. We cashed a four star, we had Noren over Hadwin, and most importantly, we cashed a seven star, and that was Victor Hovland over Kistner. And I wanted to say thanks to those of you who jumped on board. We swept 2 0. Oh. We are hitting 67% for the entire month of August in the PGA, going all the way back to our very first uh, PGA plays of this month, which was on August 2nd, and uh, just on a red hot run. Don't miss out because I've got PGA on Friday, I've got baseball on Friday. The other sports we're going to uh, not even jump into. The NHL is not going to be back till Saturday and we doubt that the NBA or WNBA will be back until the weekend also. So it's going to be baseball and PGA for me and we've got a soccer play for Friday. So don't miss out on that also after passing the last couple of days. All right, let's get to our free pick. Listen, we know where the total and the lines are likely going to be. And in this particular game between the Mariners and the Angels, it's likely to be right around nine, nine and a half first half total total right around five and that's what we're looking at is a first five innings total in this one playing the under uh, between Seattle and the Angels. You've got a pair of lefties on the mound in all likelihood. At least that's what's expected uh, for this game. You've got Mark Vicious going for the Mariners. You've got Andrew Haney going for the Angels. And if this year's results thus far in this situation for these two offenses uh, continue to trend in the same direction, I don't know, man. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of runs, at least in those first five innings. Seattle team batting average of 164 in road games against left-handers, 194, excuse me, 190 overall against Southpaws. And then you got the Angels, a buck 94 against left handers overall, 222 at home. Uh, Andrew Haney has faced the M's twice so far this season. He's got a 252 ERA, a 121 whip in 10 and two thirds innings. And then Nick Margavicious has been better on the road than at home. And I know the sample size isn't, you know, real big yet, of course, uh, but he has been better on the road than he has when he uh, takes the, the, the bump at home. And I, I think you're going to see again a situation. Oh, by the way, let me give you a couple of those stats. Overall this season, Margavicious, he's given up just 20 base runners in 19 and two-thirds innings. He struck out 18 batters. And I think you're going to see, at least for the first five innings, a lower scoring game. I don't want to turn things over to these two bullpens. So we're going to go first five innings under the total between the Mariners and the Angels. And it's based on those two lefties going, which is, of course, Haney and Margavicious. All right. So there we have it. That's the free pick for Friday. Can't really have a free pick in the NBA because I don't think they're going to play until Saturday. Anyway, the NHL is not playing until Saturday. Uh, I'm not even going to try to handicap the WNBA till Saturday because they probably won't play on Friday. So it is PGA time, though. It is baseball time over at DocSports.com. So check that out. Red hot in golf and we've got a Friday matchup. So there you go on my Handicappers homepage and don't forget about that football package. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column.